guys. In other news, partnership and collaboration, that was the University of Arizona. That's what they're saying is the key factors in de-escalating an online threat targeting students. 27-year-old Michael Lee was booked into Pima County Jail with a charge of making a terroristic threat, and now he may face federal charges. News for Tucson's Megan Spector joins us now live from the U of A with more on this case. Megan, what can you tell us? Well, Monica, threats on social media present challenges for a number of reasons, and that's why the combined forces of UAPD, the FBI, and the community are needed in situations like this. On October 22nd, Michael Lee sent multiple messages on social media threatening to commit a mass shooting at the University of Arizona. That's when UAPD and the FBI's Tucson Violent Crime Force teamed up. Having this partnership with the, the FBI this police officer was immediately noted, UAPD police officers immediately notified, went over to his uh, partners uh, with the FBI Violent Crime Task Force and began working on their investigation jointly. The threats were made on Snapchat, which is a tricky app to monitor. Most of the messages and photos disappear within seconds, not to mention most accounts are private. There are other communication mechanisms in social media that are closed. Certainly in those situations, yeah, absolutely. We need, we need help from uh, our campus community and, and frankly, not just our campus community or our community at, at large. If you see something, say something. And this is where UAPD and the FBI can recognize the positives to social media, encouraging students, staff, and the community to report suspicious or concerning behavior. Some of our most important tips, they come from the public. And um, that's an important piece and, and we can't do it without those tips. It was a tip that flagged Lee's threat in the first place, which ultimately saved students and staff from what could have been a very scary situation. If you're a student at the U of A or just a community member here in Tucson, you can find the resources for these safety procedures and resources on our website at kvoa.com. Live in Midtown, Megan Spector, News 4, Tucson. Cool.